everyone, welcome to another innovative hobby supply video. I'm AJ, your instructor, and today we're going to be assembling the 164 Winner's Podium Stage Building Kit. This 164 model kit includes one black straw, five signposts, two things of window material, landscape moss, three model people, one podium stage, a display garage with a patio, and two bases that match up together. Perfect to show off your Hot Wheels cars. The very first step is to carefully cut out the art that's included in the kit with a good pair of scissors. Make sure to gather the smaller items together to avoid misplacing anything. Group the walls, roofs, and bases in separate piles. For the bases, simply cut the white outer edges off. With the scale building kits, there is usually no correct place to begin. In this case, we'll start prepping the front wall. With a hobby knife and a ruler, score the two glue tabs. After, fold downwards. With a dark watercolor marker, touch up the white scored seams. By touching up the white edges in the scored seams, it creates a much cleaner and realistic look to the kit. Next, let's cut out the garage doors in the inside part of the front window. Grab a pair of scissors to create slits on both sides of the garage doors. Avoid cutting the walls at all times. Do the same thing to the window and avoid cutting the window frames. Next, with a hobby knife and a ruler, cut the top of the garages off. Once the garage doors are nicely cut out, touch up the inside edges with a dark watercolor marker. Then cut the top inside part of the window out with a hobby knife and a ruler. Touch up the inside edges with a dark watercolor marker. After touching up, this is what it should look like after cutting the window and two garages out. Flip over so the white side is facing you. Grab the smaller piece of window material in the kit and unwrap both sides until it's see-through. Place it on top evenly on the right side opening. Line up the bottoms together and secure with small pieces of scotch tape. Make sure you can't see the tape from the front side. Flip over and grab the bottom add-on front wall. Place it below the front window, lining up the bottoms together and the window frame. Glue one side at a time to avoid any unevenness. Then, grab the garages you cut out earlier and the extra ones. Depending how open you want the garage doors to be, cut to your desired height. Cut them all the same height. Glue the backs of the garage door pieces together by using hot glue. Touch up the white outer edges with a dark watercolor marker. After, flip over the front wall so the white side is facing you. Grab the front inside wall and cut out the white sections out. Then glue on top evenly on the back side of the front wall. On top of the garage door openings, place the garage door pieces on top. Secure with tape. Adjust if needed. This step is optional. Grab the 2D add-on light, place hot glue onto the original light, and place the 2D one on top evenly. Grab the building left side wall, score the glue tab with a hobby knife and a ruler, fold inwards, and touch up with a marker. Flip over so the white side is facing you. Grab the left inside wall and secure evenly on top, lining up the bottoms together. Do not glue too close to the glue tab as it might interfere with it later on. Repeat the same steps for the building right side wall. Score, fold, touch up, and secure the inside wall onto the back side. For the back wall, grab the 2D add-on vents, place hot glue to the original ones, then place the 2D add-on ones on top evenly. Put aside for later. Next, grab the second level front wall, score the two glue tabs with a hobby knife and a ruler, fold inwards and then touch up with a dark watercolor marker. Cut out the white section out carefully with a hobby knife and a ruler. Then touch up with a dark watercolor marker. For the second level right side wall, score, fold, touch up and secure the inside wall onto the back side. Flip over so the white side is facing you, grab the inside wall and secure evenly on top, lining up the bottoms together. Do not glue too close to the glue tab as it might interfere with it later on. Then grab the second level left side wall, score, fold, touch up and secure the inside wall onto the back side. Put aside for later. Grab all the fences, flip them over so the white side is facing you, color the white outer parts with a black watercolor marker. Once that's done, grab a matching pair and glue the backs onto each other with hot glue. Drag your finger across the fence so it secures together straight. Do this to all three pairs. Put 
put aside for later. Then collect all the checkered long flags, flip them over so the white side is facing you, color the white outer parts with a black watercolor marker. Once that's done, grab a matching pair and glue the backs onto each other with hot glue. After, grab the four signposts included in the kit and glue them in between the crack with hot glue. Repeat this step for all the checkered flags. Now grab the podium stage and score all the white lines and glue tabs. Make sure to also score where the ramp begins so it can bend later on. Use a hobby knife and a ruler. Fold the sides 90 degrees downwards from the top and fold the glue tabs flat so it can be against the base later on. After folding, touch up the white seams with the blue and gray watercolor marker. Really take the time to touch up any white areas as it will make your piece look 10 times more realistic. This is what the podium stage should look like after scoring, folding, and touching up. Put aside for later. Now grab the back of the podium and cut these two small slits with a hobby knife and a ruler where this dark blue tab is. Then score here and here with a hobby knife and a ruler. Gently fold the tab and glue tab downwards. Use a dark blue watercolor marker to touch up the white edges. Put aside for later. Then grab the front of the podium and cut here and here with a hobby knife or scissors. Then score all the white lines and glue tabs. Watch the video carefully to make sure you score all the needed areas. Fold the sides 90 degrees downwards from the top and fold the glue tabs 90 degrees inwards. After folding, touch up the white seams with the blue and gray watercolor marker. Grab the optional podium signs and pick the ones you want to glue onto the front of the podium. Before securing against the front, touch up the white lines on the wall so it's less visible. Then place a matching sign to the correct box. Use hot glue to secure. This amazing and fun option allows you to customize your kit to your own desired liking. This is what mine looks like after customizing. Now grab the front bottom stage walls and score all four glue tabs with a hobby knife and a ruler. Fold the tabs inwards and use a blue watercolor marker to touch up the white seams. Repeat these steps for both of the bottom walls. Then grab the podium stage, place hot glue along the back side glue tab and line up the two side walls evenly together. Do this to the other side. Now grab a bottom stage wall, place hot glue along a longer glue tab and line it up evenly with the front bottom of the stage. Use a side glue tab to secure them to the rest of the stage. Then place the finished podium stage onto the correct base. Before securing, touch up the white lines around the area the podium goes on top of to make the white lines less visible. Then glue the base 2D add-ons with hot glue. Place on top, secure with hot glue by using the hot glue tabs underneath. Line up evenly. Afterwards, grab the podium and place it on top of the stage. Use hot glue to secure. Hold upwards until dry. Then grab the long checkered flags we assembled earlier and place them anywhere you'd like. Use hot glue to secure. Collect all the country flags and touch them up with the corresponding watercolor marker. Glue the matching flags onto the backs of each other, then gently curve the flags with your finger. Grab the last signposts, cut to the four desired lengths, glue the flags in the crack with hot glue, then place them anywhere you'd like. Look how cool that looks! Next, let's assemble the stairs. Grab the stairs and cut them into small sections using the black lines as guides. 
Color the backs and the sides of the stairs with a gray watercolor marker. After, grab the stair sides and touch up the white areas with the same watercolor marker. Then grab the base. Secure the two sides onto the sides of the base with hot glue. Next, glue each individual stair by using tweezers and small amounts of hot glue. And there we go, we have a set of stairs. Place them anywhere against the podium stage. Now it's time to assemble the building. Secure the front wall onto the correct base. Place small amounts of hot glue behind the wall. Once dry, glue the left and right side wall onto the front wall's glue tabs. Then secure the back wall onto the rest of the building. Grab the roof and the second level front wall. Touch up the white lines on the roof's second level base with a gray watercolor marker. Place the front wall here. Place small amounts of hot glue behind the wall to secure. And then glue the right and left side walls onto the front wall. Place small amounts of hot glue along the inside for the walls to become straight against the actual base. Grab the back wall and secure it against the rest of the building. Then grab the other piece of window material and measure how big it needs to be for the second level window. Cut and unwrap both sides of the wrapper off, place it inside against the front wall and secure with hot glue. This is what the second level front wall should look like after done. Next, grab the second level back inside wall and place it against the inside of the back wall. Line up the bottoms together and secure with hot glue. Then, grab the second level roof and place it on top evenly. Finally, carefully place the second level on top of the actual building. Do not secure the roofs on permanently so you can place and take out cars anytime you want. This building can fit a total of four cars inside. How cool is that? Feel free to customize the building even more with flags or the optional red tool boxes. Next, glue the correct fence length here against the second level left side wall. Then glue the other two just like this. Then grab the optional hangover fence plants, score all the white lines, fold into a cuboid, glue together and touch up the white areas with a black watercolor marker. Place moss on top by securing with hot glue and place anywhere you'd like. Moving forward, grab all the tabletops, touch up with the brown watercolor marker, grab the table stand material, cut into four desired lengths, flip over the table so the white side is facing you, place glue in the middle, then place the table stand carefully on top. Repeat this step for all the tables. Use however many you'd like and place anywhere on the patio. Use the landscape moss included in the kit to create realistic looking bushes. This new and amazing 164 scale model is one of my favorite innovative hobby supply kits. The 164 Winner's Podium Stage model is a level 3 skill kit and will take approximately 3 hours to complete. Once this model is assembled, it's plenty rugged and will give any hobbyist many years of enjoyment for displaying on your racetrack. You can get this model and many others on InnovativeHobbySupply.com. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe down below. If you have any further questions about the building that we just assembled today, make sure to check out our website at InnovativeHobbySupply.com.